Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying this lovely Tuesday. Good to see you all. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see Mike. Good to see Grant. Andrea. Good to see you all. Bali, everyone, cyber traders. Good to see you. Well, good so far. We had a great morning so far. I N O. Holy crap. Was this stock easy or what? You know, I'm sitting there watching it. And listen, that's why you got early bird gets the worm. Look at this right here. Uh, let me just blow up this chart right here. You can see what's going on that we got. So anyway, this stock right at 8 o'clock, INO, we're very well, very well known about it. We watched it plenty of times. And you can see right here, we're in from 420. And uh, it ran all the way to 560. This was like unheard of. And you know what? I was sitting there looking at it. I'm like, you know, let's wait till 830. And then I just called it out. You know, I was looking through my watch list. I didn't really see anything. And I said earlier, if you saw in the chat, I'm like, you know what? We might have to wait until, uh, might have to wait until like maybe 830, you know, whatever. And then sure enough, boom. I mean, no, I found it a little bit sooner. And even, and by that time, I think everybody jumped in around five o'clock. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, five, five, uh, five dollars, and the thing ran another sixty cents. This thing was unbelievable. Great winner! Congratulations to all of you. You know, I want to give you guys a round of applause. Uh, it's always nice to start off the morning with a nice little profit going into a good trading period. So anyway, we didn't even talk about yesterday. They marked it up over with almost thirteen hundred points yesterday. But it's just, you know what? To me, I like. It's like it's another day in the job. You know what I mean? Just another day. You're out there, and you know what? I know there's some people like, damn, I missed that rally. This, you know what? I say it all the time. Don't worry about it. It's just another day on the job. You know what? The the the, the ocean is always going to be full of fish. Okay. So if you if you didn't use the right bait or whatever you you know whatever it may be, don't worry about it. This could be another day like like uh, like yesterday, just like the coronavirus. You know, it's so funny that and I keep talking about this regarding about the coronavirus. And you know, I can't wait because tomorrow I'm going to be at the Nasdaq uh, station. I'm going to be at Nasdaq and doing a. Uh, on their uh, TV show, so don't forget that, guys. We're gonna make sure you listen in. I'm gonna do something, a couple of more, a couple of different things. I'm gonna show some live uh, total view uh, demonstrations on it. But uh, but I, you know, listen. I was talking to, like I told you, I was talking to the guys at Fast Money, and I was like, listen, you guys got to do more talk about more day trading. And they're like, yeah, we really don't think there's really an audience for that. And I'm like, are you kidding me? There's a huge audience. A lot of people are day trading. And when I was talking about the coronavirus, they're like, yeah, those stocks are really not our forte. Well, you know what? Look what happened. So w once again, how do I know that? Because you, to be a, a lot of those guys are swing traders, investors, options traders, and I say it all the time. You damn well about have to learn how to day trade. First, so you know how you can be a good swing trader, good options trader. Doesn't have to, you have to do it. You just kind of know how to play the game. And then you know what? If because I know some of you here, you know, you're trying it out, and you're like, I don't know if it's really for me. And then you know what? You might find out just like people are here demoing, uh, and like, you know what? It's too fast for me. And I get it. You know, listen, no one's going to put a gun to your head, but at least now you know the real truth about it or or maybe you say, holy crap, this really is for me, and that's why you're doing it. So I'm just glad that you guys are here and some of you are students here. And you can see, guys, we're like – it's almost like printing money for crying out loud. So anyway uh, – Great, great, great day in the market. So far, great pre-market. And like I told you, don't worry about it. If you missed it, it's not going anywhere. Now, get back to the coronavirus. I just want to talk about this. You know, I'm watching on TV, right? And do you guys realize how many people die from the flu? Does anybody know how, how many people die from the flu every year here in the United States? Anybody want to take a guess? Take a guess. I just heard it today. Half a million, Andre? My, no, 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 no. Uh, I think they said 16,000. Jeff said, what, 67,000, right, 40,000? I think they said it was 16,000 here in the United States. You know how many people die from the coronavirus? Six. Six people die from coronavirus. All right. Now, granted, it is extremely contagious, you know, but this is what I'm talking about. Remember I was teaching you about day trading and how this is how – we monetize and capitalize on the news. I told you, nothing will bring down this stock market. I still think by the end of the year, if this whole coronavirus gets taken care of, I think we could hit 32, 30, I mean, 32, 35,000 by November, okay? Um, there's nothing here that I've seen that's going to go down. 
Uh, and if you go back two years from go, two years from now, if you look at some of the other YouTube videos, I told you market was going to hit twenty eight thousand by this year. How do I know that? Because I've been doing this for twenty five years. All right, you, but I did warn you. I said, listen, the only thing will bring this down if there's a catastrophe. If somebody keeps, you know, if it's a uh, uh, somebody does something stupid, if there's another nine eleven, if there's another major hurricane, if there's you know a, a war or whatever it is, the only thing really could bring it down. I, or maybe even a virus, okay? Whoever thought that, you know, who thought that would have the black, the, the black plague or something happen over here? But with all that, only thing that makes bad news is advertising. The news media is so damn powerful. You, I guess now you probably realize how crazy. Now, I'm not granting it is a major concern with the coronavirus and this and that. But I'm just telling you, look what a global thing that it could make as chaos can go in the stock market. And this is your job. So you have to learn how to monetize that. Just want to give everyone a heads up. And hopefully you're going to learn this lesson for some of you that are new to cyber trading or you're listening for the first time or you're just starting out. But some of you have been here for a while. Listen, you've been through the cryptocurrency. You've been through blockchain. You guys been through the uh, – the shipping stocks, can't talk about my famous dryers, right? <laughs> D-R-Y-S, right, Ken? So anyway, there's a lot of things out there that you – it's just another part of our job. You know, the financial crisis, everything. So guys, don't worry about it if you missed at it. There's going to be another one. Don't worry about it, okay? So anyway, about yesterday and what happened yesterday, let me just bring this chart back to normal and uh, and talk about what happened yesterday. A couple of things uh, also here coming across. Fear is the ultimate motivator. Brian, listen, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. It is extremely, Brian, a very big motivator, and fortunately, you got to capitalize on it. Remember the oil crisis? Remember oil was $145, and they say, oh, it's going to go to 200 I remember filling up my oil tank in my house. It was like almost $1,000. Today it cost me $500, $450. It was just crazy. Uh, type of flu was uh, revamped uh, at my wife's office in February while we were on a cruise uh, from Wayne. And Dylan says uh, the Netherlands, they say if you have it but doesn't affect them. Well, like I told you, it's just – it's all about – the media. Media is so damn powerful, uh, which is kind of really a shame, you know what I mean? But but you know what? Causes causes uh, chaos. Anyway, let's get right back to it because I want you guys to get ready for the trading. we got a couple of minutes. Anyway, great day yesterday. Hundred, uh, we were up 1,300 points. A lot of you cleaned up. I, I just want to make a comment because I'm getting a couple of people that are sending me emails and this and that. And some of you guys are a little discouraged. Guys, can I, can I be honest with you? Please, like I just mentioned earlier, if you missed yesterday's run and you feel discouraged that you were chasing, listen, I, I missed a bunch of them. I missed them. You know what? Because, you know, I'm here trying to teach you guys how to be very successful at trading. So I'm always in working with my staff, working on classes. And you know what? That's why I teach you guys to do because I could just jump in. I can listen to you and I can know exactly where you guys are. This is your job. You know, I got I really got three jobs. I got a, a family is my first job. My second job is is making you guys successful in CTU, and my third job is actually just making a day's pay in the trading market, you know. Um, but that that's really my my three big jobs that I deal with, and then taking care of my chickens and doing my garden, <laughs> you know, uh, my little ladies down there. I gotta make sure I get those nice fresh eggs. Uh, by the way, did you guys have watched my video on uh, 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 Fausto Home Living? You guys gotta watch my video Fausto Home Living uh, on YouTube. Show you how to make fresh uh, tomato salad, uh, fresh homemade tomato sauce. I think you guys watch it, right? Fausto Home Living. You did watch it? All right, good, good, good. Great video. <laughs> All right, so anyway, let's not worry about yesterday, about the about what happened yesterday. Uh, I don't want to put, you know, like I said, it's 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 over. You made your money. And it's time to move on. Now, there's a couple of stocks out here that are moving. Unfortunately, there's not a lot, okay? But uh, there's one of them that came up on my radar that just popped up really uh, recently. Look at this thing. I don't know where the hell this thing came from. Um, VTIQW. It's a warrant, which there's a W at the end of it. So let me just see. There must be the, the, the common. VTIQ. Yeah, there it is. That's That should be the common. There's a common and there's a warrant. Uh, looks like the warrant's really taking off a little bit. I don't know what this stock is all about. Six million shares already traded. Put the stock on your watch list. I just saw it come up on my radar. It was the biggest percentage. The warrant was actually the biggest. Uh, then you have the INO. Listen, let's see INO back off. It hit major resistance levels. You could see it right here on the long-term chart. Um, you could see it kind of pretty much died right now. But that's why if you look back on the chat, 
if you exactly look back in the chat, where did I, where did I put it up there? I'm going to look it up because I did tell you this. Uh, I did tell you, I put in the chat, so watch out for the back off. You're going to get profit taking going on. What time did I say that? Oh, there I go. Uh, look for it backing off around, uh, when I told you, a little, around, a little bit past 830, I said. And sure enough, you could see it right there around 830. It started backing off. So you know what? How do I know that? That's why you're part of the room, right? Got to follow the money. That's all it is. Follow the money. Uh, M-I-T-O. Here's another one. Oop, typed in the wrong window. M-I-T-O. Here's another one that I found, too, that's moving this morning. Not a, you know, not, it's got a lot of great volume, almost 900,000 shares of 51%. This stock got destroyed, okay? You know me. I'm a big fan of bottom fishing. You could see in December, this thing went from 14 down to 6, all the way down to buck ninety. This is exactly what I like. I want to see you kind of build some support levels. Uh, you could see you got some great, great iceberg orders out there. M I. Just going to bring up the total view order book right here. You got some, uh, you got a 25,000 share seller right now, uh, right out there at 297. What a coincidence, right below $3. How do we not know that? So that's why you see, look, there he is right there. You see him right there? He's right here on total. You got to have all the different vehicles, guys. You want to be successful, got to have the right tools, part of the game. CANF is another one also I found this morning. CNF up 24%, had a nice move around 7.30, it was up at a buck 80, it's down to a buck 52. So that one is also moving. Now, um, it's kind of holding pretty steady right here. Got some, not as a big iceberg order, but you got a 10,000 share buyer sitting there at a buck 41. Uh, thousands, not really major. I think that's pretty the biggest one out there. So, uh, and you can see that the reason why it's holding right there at that support level right there. Now, if you go through here on the other watch list, I went through this list a little bit. There are a couple of stocks that are here that are moving. I just was concerned about the spread. You got GNMK, that looks okay. The CNF, we just looked at that one. I know, or you know, you have it right there. Oh, OGN, we just moved up. We had this one. Oh yeah, it's a penny stock. I'm not really a fan of that. I'm going to deal with those penny. Uh, same thing like this one. You got you got to be careful when you go through these watch lists. Sometimes these things are a little too uh, a little too exp uh, inexpensive, and you know even though you got you got to be listen. I I don't care how deep your pockets are. When you deal with penny stocks, you got to be you got to be more advanced than dealing with a stock that's in the dollar range. Remember these things are very very volatile, and uh, believe me, they're under a dollar for a reason. Now. Not really a big list, okay? Markets right now up 200 points. ETFs did great yesterday. You had great opportunities to swing trade. I told you in my video, is it time to buy? If you watched that video yet, we yesterday, if you missed yesterday's morning meeting, what did I do? I wasn't right. I was exactly right. How do I know that? I'm watching the money. That's all I'm doing. So guys, follow the money. Stick what you do. Stick what you're doing, and you know, just keep you know, just keep it up. We're doing it. We're having a great. We're having so much fun. It's great. All right. Um, what else? Oh, another thing, guys, I think you heard what happened with, uh, with online trading Academy. I just want to kind of make a quick announcement of that I actually really feel bad, really feel bad for them. Uh, they were a really good company. Um, you know, and, uh, just kind of, well, just want to say that, you know, I guess when it became, when they started franchising, I guess they got too big for themselves and that's what ends up happening. But if you know anybody that is a, uh, an online trading Academy customer, uh, I know some of you work uh, clients that they at one point, some of you are, just go out there and just tell them about Cyber Trade University. We'll love to take them in and, you know, you know, and help them out and do the best that you can. I know some of them were so fixated on, you know, being, and they want to make it work and they still want to make it work. Just unfortunately what happened with them. So if you know anybody, listen, be happy to, uh, take care of them and do the right thing for them because I know people spend a lot of money to do this to make it very successful and I just hate to see people just quit and get burned and whatever I, I never want to see that happen you could still learn you know if you came from there you can come back just uh so if you just want to throw that out there all right guys listen good luck happy trading everybody and uh let's uh, let's make our money and run and call it early and and uh, enjoy traders talk and you know and hopefully uh pick back and Get another INL, <laughs> like in the morning. All right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today.